enable. CNBC TV 18 and SAS present Future of Marketing, transformation from cost center to C-suite catalyst. Hello and welcome to this very special conversation. I'm Ridhu Bhandari. Now, as consumer behavior evolves, digitalization of enterprises gains momentum and organizations look for growth as well as better customer experiences in these turbulent times. The world of marketing is also seeing significant shifts. How should organizations then reimagine their marketing functions? How can emerging technologies play a pivotal role in enhancing marketing of organizations? How is the CMO's role evolving and the relationship with the wider C-suite evolving in these times? And how is marketing being transformed from a traditional cost center to a C-suite catalyst? Those are some of the big questions we are aiming to answer here today. And I'd like to welcome a panel of very eminent industry stalwarts. Kushan Mahapatra, President Strategic Investments and Head of Open Market at SBI General Insurance. Shalini Warrior, Executive Director and Business Head Retail at Federal Bank. Ravi Santanam, Chief Marketing Officer at HDFC Bank. Abhishek Gupta, Chief Marketing Officer of Edelweiss Tokyo Life Insurance. Mike Blanchard, Senior Director and Head of Global Customer Intelligence, SAS. And Shiv Kumar Bhaseen, Chief Technology and Operations Officer at the National Stock Exchange. Welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Well, digital transformation was the talk of the town even much before the pandemic began in 2019. But perhaps it has been tremendously accelerated for organizations around the world in the last year, year and a half. Uh, let me begin by asking you, Pushan, how have marketing goals in these times uh, of organizations, specifically in the BFSI sector, shifted significantly? And uh, has uh, you know this increased pace of digital transformation really shifted goalposts for you as far as marketing is concerned? What has happened in the last couple of years from this traditional layout, with the change in the demography, we are seeing a lot of shift in the way people are buying insurance. It's uh, no longer that uh, thrust on a one product fits everything. People are moving more towards very specific needs for protection. I have this particular event I'm going to, I need to be protected. I have a particular season, seasonal disease, I need protection for that. And here, is the challenge that in a traditional distribution setup, this is very difficult to achieve because physically to distribute it becomes extremely difficult due to the small ticket size and of course the volumes. Therefore, this has seen significant shift to the digital channels, and we are seeing a lot of these user-based uh, insurances and of course uh, the diseases like bone diseases or specific uh, critical illnesses coming online in addition to that what has also happened and we must thank uh, in a negative or positive way whichever we say that covid 19 has been a tectonic shift as far as marketing is concerned Suddenly, everybody was faced with the situation March last year when all the models which are built on distributor engagement, engagement with your field uh, teams, suddenly changed overnight. And I think organizations which had invested uh, in technology in uh, earlier years were quick off the block. but all the companies and all the industries, I would say, across the, the spectrum, really rose to the challenge and moved digital. And were able to take most of the processes uh, online and fully digital. And if you see within the insurance industry, I think everything has got serviced digitally without interruptions. Maybe somebody had an initial 15 days, one month issue. But after that, all of us in the industry across the spectrum have been able to service the customer, uh, whether it be right from the purchase to the claim or the renewal or any other service matter, absolutely digitally. So 
that has really speeded up the process of going online, going digital. But what has also happened as things opened up, some amount of shift back also was something that we saw. Right, absolutely. And uh, some of those tectonic shifts that you just spoke of, uh, Pushan, we are going to come to those. Coming to you, Shalini, you know, consumer engagement channels have really moved to digital and social in a big way, particularly in the last couple of years. Uh, what sort of an impact has this had on products that are being offered, on innovation, on processes within the organization? And uh, how has the marketing functions structure or, uh, you know, operation or priorities changed as a result of this? As you rightly said, some of the shifts to digital had happened actually even before the pandemic started. But obviously, um, you know, it's got really accentuated with the uh, the last 12 to 14 months of the pandemic. In fact, uh, some statistics say that the only medium that has grown in advertising has been digital actually over year on year with a 15% growth, whereas overall, I think there's been a reduction of about 17%. So clearly, digital is kind of ruling all that we do right now. Um, in that context, it's obviously uh, evident that it's just not marketing that has to shift, but, um, you know, products, consumers, everybody's keeping pace. But coming to your specific question on what has actually changed within the marketing function, um, you know, I could look at it at four things that I think have really, uh, I think there could be many more, but I'll just talk about four of them. The first one is, I think, the skills and capabilities of the marketing professionals themselves Earlier, I think they could be happy with just knowing something about print and something about, um, you know, television. But today they need to know the entire spectrum of digital and they need to understand artificial intelligence and they need to understand data privacy and they need to understand reputation risk and a whole host of other things. So I think that whole skills and capabilities of marketing people have changed tremendously. And I've seen that with my teams over here, um, you know, all of them kind of feverishly learning up a lot more in this area. The second is, I think, um, while there was always a symbiotic relationship between product design and product advertising, I think digital has accentuated that even more. So you need to get to a design of a product that can lend itself to being offered through to customers through a digital medium. So a good example that I can give you from Federal is our uh, video uh, capability, our video KYC capability called Federal 24-7. So we've really had to re-engineer a lot of that stuff to make sure that the design lends itself to being enabled from a capability standpoint on the digital platform. The third is, I think, innovation around uh, the channels used for advertising. Um, earlier, you know, radio could have been the most popular, but today we've got to think of, is it got to be on Ghana? Is it got to be on Savan? Is it got to be on Hotstar? You know, so programmatic, etc. So I think the channels used for advertising have also changed tremendously, and therefore the marketing professionals have had to keep pace with that. Uh, the last but not the least is uh, data. Um, you know, this whole concept of how much do you know about your customer? How much do you understand about the customer? And more importantly, are you, you know, reaching the stage of analysis paralysis and torturing your data to give you the answers? So, you know, where do you draw the line? Where do you make sure that data is, um, you know, being used as a tool for a greater good? So if you look at between skills and capabilities, product design, the whole channels used or the medium to reach the customer and data, I think that's where we've seen a huge amount of change. Very aptly and succinctly uh, put, uh, you know, uh, Shalini, thank you so much for all those valuable insights. I'm going to ask Ravi to also chime in on some of those. Like Shalini was saying today, there are various facets of marketing. There's physical, there's digital, there's social. Within that, there is email and WhatsApp and voice and SMS. And you literally need specialists of everything. So how are job roles changing today what are the jobs of the future uh, when it comes to marketing and which traditional roles do you think are losing shape thanks Ridu, for the thing, opportunity the way i look at it is uh, see marketing has been changing over the years like mailer it was only print and the radio then tv and then a combination of all this stuff and then digital socials performance and all those stuff but the fundamentals of marketing, in my view, has not changed. The fundamentals of marketing to understand consumers, take the right value proposition to the consumers in a channel in which they are going to engage with that most. I don't think that has changed at all. Maybe the biggest change which I see in the last two years is the measurement of what we actually do and what it contributes to the balance sheet of the organization that has become extremely visible today. 
so the way i see it is marketers are no more than marketers alone marketers have to own up the revenue because you have the ability to fulfill particularly in a financial sector and particularly in a bank like hdfc bank we can actually go ahead and give a credit card online we can go ahead and service the customers low requirements online without even actually having to move out of your chair if that is the possibility digital is in the measurement of what a marketer should be doing has moved away from just brand awareness consideration brand love to actually how much you bring in terms of revenue to the organization so in this landscape when measurement metrics change the skill sets that are required now suddenly becomes extremely different and you can just rest on your past laurels of saying i will actually create something of a messaging and i don't know what happens to that messaging now we do know exactly what happened the messaging how did the consumers react to that messaging so the skill set of ability to understand the impact of what you do is the most important thing earlier the impact was measured at three months you need to wait for uh, some kind of a report from the market in terms of distribution market share and rest of the stuff to the skill set is it is coming tomorrow morning it is coming in the next 3 hours if it is going to come in the next 3 hours how is your strategic agility to change what needs to be changed what is working what is not working and how quick you are in terms of adapting to this kind of a change i think that's the biggest skill set which i see is the one which defines the winners versus losers the whole thing of foundations still remains your understanding insights based value proposition creation and able to take it to the consumer at the right place at the right time that i don't think will change cnbc tv 18 and sas present future of marketing transformation from costs 